Pour one out for the Google Assistant, everybody. We've known for some time now that Google planned to replace the Google Assistant with Google Gemini across all of their portfolio. And today just marks another nail in the Google Assistant's coffin as Google just announced today that they will be replacing Google Assistant with Google Gemini on all Wear OS watches. So that means all Samsung, Xiaomi, OnePlus, etc. watches, you'll all be um, getting that update so long as you are running Android 4. And above. I tried to go in and install the update myself, but when I went to go look, the update wasn't available. So I'm going to try again tomorrow and over the next couple days and weeks to get that update installed so I can do some testing. But for now, here are a couple ways that Google is suggesting that we'll be able to use Gemini in our everyday lives. So there are really like three main selling points that Google is offering. So the first is that you'll be able to speak more naturally and get quick and helpful responses to your questions so that you can speak and just get what you need. The second is managing your day with help from Google Gemini and your favorite apps and sort of the Google workspace connectedness. And third is helping you remember details effortlessly, they say. So they give a couple scenarios, and so one is when your hands are full. So if you're busy cooking and your hands are messy, simply ask, how long should I roast sliced vegetables and at what temperature? Another selling point is just getting quick information on the go. So say you're going out for a walk, you can quickly ask, like, do I need an umbrella? And that could potentially save you from getting rained on. Another is during busy transitions. So they're imagining someone rushing between meetings and quickly asking, where's the coffee place that X person emailed me to quickly confirm sort of where they're going without needing to stop. So I'm imagining like you got to go to the coffee shop or whatever. So you're running to your car and as you're walking to your car, you, you know, trigger the Google Assistant. And then by the time you get to the car, you can potentially have navigation directions pulled up and be on your way as soon as you're in your car. For managing your day with help from Google Gemini and your favorite apps. So another scenario is while on a bike or on a run, sort of mid-workout, you can easily send a text message um, letting someone know that you're going to be late. Or maybe before going out for a run, you ask Google Gemini to make you a custom playlist by asking, for example, create a playlist for a 10 minute mile run. Another use case is quickly summarizing email information before meetings um, by having Google summarize your last email from certain contacts. You can also plan on the fly. So this is something that I've really been using Google Gemini for, but if you hear about an upcoming event that you want to join, you can instantly add it to your calendar. That's been a huge time saver for me and I feel like it's actually gotten me going out to more events and getting to places on time and things like that. So really have appreciated that work and efficiency gain. But otherwise, another scenario is say when you need to leave for an appointment soon, you can quickly just ask like, hey, Google Gemini, what is the address for my dentist appointment tomorrow? And navigate there and it'll you know, with the context of all of your emails and stuff, it'll pull up the address and um, directions to get there on Google Maps. You can also use Gemini on your watch to take action across all of your sort of Google Workspace apps. To have Google Gemini take action on your behalf within your Google Workspace, you'll just wanna make sure to enable the apps that you want Gemini to access within the Google Gemini app settings. Uh, on your paired phone and you know grant all of the necessary permissions. And the final use case that they're really selling is having Google sort of offload pretty much all of your memory. So if you want it to, you could have it remember any part of your life that you tell it to. And then it's super easy to retrieve the details whenever you need. You just ask it to remember something and then ask it to tell you what you told it. Here's an example. So I know this will be super helpful for me because I always forget where I park. Uh, so you could ask Google Gemini to remember like, hey, I am on level four of the parking lot in space 93, right? Um, and then whenever you're done with your event or whatever, you know, heading back to the garage to pick up your car. If you don't remember, you can quickly ask Google Gemini to tell you um, where you left your car. And also like if you're at the gym, you can tell it to remember your locker number and then have it recite it back to you once you're done with your workout. But yeah, starting today and over the next few weeks, Gemini will be rolling out to Wear OS watches running Wear OS 4 and up. I tried installing it myself, but it looks like it's not available for me to download yet. To check if the update is available for you on your Pixel Watch, swipe down to access the quick dial shade, tap the gear icon to open up the settings menu, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and press system. Then click system updates. And if the update is available for you, um, follow the prompts that are on the screen to install the update. Finally, for those of you with Wear OS 6, 
Google is saying that they will also include support for your watch's brand own apps. So if you wanna have Gemini access any of your Samsung apps, it sounds like it'll be able to do that in theory. Unfortunately, I don't have the update today to show you, but I will be checking for that over the next couple days. And as soon as I have it, I will test it out and then give you guys an update and let you know what I think. But yeah, that's everything in this update. Thanks so much again for tuning in. My name is Angel, the Google Pixel guy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future Pixel tips and tricks videos and update videos just like this one. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.